Uh, I'm gonna come out with my new girlfriend here, Vicky. Um, Ever since 2017, Wolf Vicky's views have dropped over a thousand percent, and today the internet's just labeled her as problematic and racist. Her videos on YouTube get under 5,000 views, and to be honest, you'd probably forgotten about her, but when you look into why all of this has happened, it's actually pretty sad. From getting into actual physical fights with Bad Baby, possibly dating Speed, and even dissing Rice Gum for being Asian, it looks like she might have been destined for failure from the beginning. See, the interesting thing about Wolf Vicky is that her entire personality on the internet seems to be a persona, as videos like these have come out of her before she was ever famous that show her talking in a normal voice, giving an inspiring message to her Instagram story. If you're feeling down and you're thinking about like, dang, my life is effed up, bro. I wish it was like this. Just think about how many people would want to be in your position. Like, no cap. Like, But this innocence wasn't maintained for long as it seems like the clout started to get to her head and she sort of fell into a vicious trap. Vicky's whole brand was going viral online for doing stupid things and the dumber the stunts got, the more views and money she would pull in, which led her to doing increasingly distasteful things. Like in 2016, when Vicky uploaded a video claiming that she had taken a DNA test that told her that she was African American, which meant that by her rule, she could start saying the n-word in different derogatory terms then she started speaking weird i celebrate i ain't no house to celebrate but to say it was my birthday because of how controversial she was she blew up pretty much instantly growing a huge fan base in less than a month but this is where we run into another issue the people that followed her weren't like normal fans they were toxic trolls or people that supported and wanted to see her racism she took the controversy to the next level claiming that she was embracing her black heritage by writing diss tracks on large creators like rice gum titling a song ching Chong and roasting rice for being Asian. Ching chong, ching chong, ching chong. To this day, Vicky still doesn't believe that she said or done anything wrong and doesn't understand why people were calling her racist. But what she intended to do with these stunts in the first place were actually the main reason for her downfall as it went too viral. The entire internet was reacting to the racist diss track and roasting her online to the point where she even had to delete her Instagram account. They did get to me, like, because I felt like the whole world hated me. They all thought I was racist. So, <laughs> right. So I had deleted my Instagram for a little bit. For most people, this would be career ending, but what Vicky was already problematic and used to this type of hate. She moved on to beefing another young rapper named Bad Baby where Vicky did what she does best and stirred up controversy online talking about Bad Baby's physical appearance. <laughs> This is where Vicky would overstep her limits once again and get into a massively viral physical altercation with Bad Baby. Since these incidents, Wo Vicky has slipped into irrelevancy as people started to realize that she was only doing this to go viral. She was most recently seen on an iShow speed stream where there was speculation that the two could have been dating after Speed posted this video. I'm gonna come out with my new girlfriend here, Vicky. Um... She then tried making a bunch more stunts go viral, like going on to the Dr. Phil show and claiming that her DNA tests were fake, but nothing really worked. But if you think that Vicky is completely out of pocket, 